Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Urs Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. The Pac-12 championship game between Oregon and Washington is possibly the most anticipated of all the conference championship games, maybe besides the Georgia-Alabama game. That one is highly anticipated as well. But this Oregon-Washington game is huge for a variety of reasons. This isn't just for the Pac-12 championship game, and this isn't just for two rivals that don't like each other in Oregon and Washington having a rematch. Both of those would be big enough as is, but both of these teams are also battling for the college football playoff. If Washington loses to Oregon in the rematch after Washington beat Oregon earlier in the season on their own field, Washington might be done and out of the playoff. If they lose, they would need Florida State, Alabama, and Texas, some of those teams to lose, and then maybe Washington could still get in with a close loss to Oregon. But Oregon, if they lose to Washington in the rematch for the second time this season. Oregon will be out of the college football playoff. They will have no chance at all whatsoever. And you have Bo Nix of Oregon and Michael Penix Jr. of Washington battling out for the Heisman as well. Bo Nix has better stats, but if Michael Penix Jr. can beat Bo Nix twice in the same season, even though his stats are a bit worse than Bo Nix, he could get the Heisman nod having beaten Bo Nix twice. That would be huge as well. So both of these quarterbacks are fighting for the Heisman. Both of these teams are fighting for a potential college football playoff birth and a Pac-12 championship and plus just to beat your rival would be huge as well. Me and Will and D, we preview and predict whether we believe that Oregon can get revenge on Washington and win the Pac-12 championship game and get themselves into the college football playoff or whether Washington will deny Oregon the chance to make the playoff and the Huskies will be able to beat the Ducks for the second time this season and stay undefeated and win a Pac-12 championship and get into the college football playoff. The big game, probably the biggest game of the week, well alongside Another game we'll be talking about is Oregon and Washington with Oregon as a nine and a half point favorite in Vegas. It's hilarious. Washington's the undefeated team. Oregon's mm -hmm. the team with one loss, but nope, Oregon is favored by almost 10 points. No respect for the Huskies at all whatsoever. And I know people laugh about it because of the fact that people say the Vegas the odds, you know, they're doing the computer system. So a computer doesn't respect a team or another team. They're just going off data. I think Mark Rogers mentioned that as well. He's the one that said it's like the computer doesn't show respect to anybody. It's just going mm -hmm. off what the data spits into it. So obviously the data is liking how well Oregon's looked, how dominant Oregon's been lately, whereas Washington has not been dominant. Washington has struggled in their last few games. They've been winning, and that's all that matters. But they have not been dominant in any of their wins. They've struggled. Certain you know weather elements, especially that Oregon State game, played a factor. But Oregon's definitely like the better team. Bo Nix's stats are ridiculous: thirty-seven touchdowns and two picks, almost four thousand passing yards. In addition to what Bucky Irving's doing, Troy Franklin's stats are insane. They've got a great offense. Their rushing attack's great. Their passing attack's great. Their defense is better than Washington's. It's mm -hmm. just it so happens that Washington was able to pull out that win against Oregon at home, but now it's in a neutral site. Oregon's looked a lot better. They're looking for blood. They're playing a lot better than Washington right now, but I'm going to let you pick first, Will, before I give my pick. If Dan Lang doesn't do anything dumb during the game, <laughs> like he did last time, Ducks should win. I'll go for a Quacking impressive victory. I'll go 45 to 24. Ducks win the pack. Ooh. You're going with a mini blowout there. Oregon mm -hmm. showing their dominance. Ducks crashing down on the dogs. I don't know. This game to me is going to be close. I know Oregon's looked a lot better, but Washington hasn't played this entire season to throw it all away with a loss. And I'm going to hate it for Washington because if they lose, they're almost mathematically eliminated from the college football playoff. Almost. I mean, they could still get in, obviously, if other teams lose. It's possible. But if they do not get a loss from Florida State to Louisville, if Washington doesn't have Texas and Alabama, probably lose as well. Washington will be on the outside looking in. So Washington has to win to get in. If they lose, they're not completely done, but they're going to need other results to happen for them to have a chance. And trust me, if Washington does lose, they're going to have a long Saturday watching these results and hoping and praying that Florida State, Alabama, some of those teams go down. So Washington is, again, a very good team. Michael Penix Jr., he's played up to the potential that I thought he would and then some when he transferred from Indiana. I knew he had it in him. 
obviously at Indiana, he didn't have a good old line. He was always getting banged up. But he's been so impressive, so proud of what he's done. And if he beats Oregon again, he'll have a shot at the Heisman, even though Bo Nix's stats are still going to be better. Beating him twice, he would have a chance. I think Washington could win. And I know that a lot of people say that when you pick a team, you don't want to say that the other team has a chance to win. But Washington can win because that passing attack is dangerous. And Penix, if he can regain that confidence that he showed in that first game, definitely there is a chance that the Huskies can pull it off. And it's on a neutral site, so there's going to be fans for both teams. But Oregon's looked so good lately. Bo Nix has been so incredible with the stats he's putting up. Their offense is playing ridiculous. Their defense is better than Washington's. Unless Michael Penix throws for over 400 yards, I have a hard time seeing the Huskies pulling out. I'm going to go with Oregon, like you said, Will, as long as Dan Lanning doesn't do anything insane and blow it, to win over Washington 38-35. to And then Oregon more likely should be in the college football playoff. There's no guarantees of anything, but they, they'll be in. They'll be in the playoff if they win. Washington probably, like I said, will be out unless things break their way. It's going to be a great game. It's probably the game everybody's looking forward to the most besides maybe another game, like you said, Will. I cannot wait for this matchup on Friday night, but I think Oregon will edge them out because Oregon's just looked a little bit better than Washington lately. Actually, a lot better, to be frank. Yeah, it should be. Ducks should win, but who knows what could happen. It's conference championship weekend. And it'd be great if both teams can get in the playoff because they're both mm-hmm. deserving. I mean, Washington, though, know, they haven't looked as good. They've had a great mm-hmm. year. Anything can mm-hmm. happen. But the playoff race, whatever happens, is going to be wild, and people definitely going to be tuning in on Selection Sunday. Mm-hmm. Do you think it'll help Oregon at all that they, they're getting that extra day of rest after playing on Friday on rivalry week? Maybe. I mean, the thing is, is technically they played the harder opponent, <laughs> even though they made easy work of them. Washington mm-hmm. played a worse team, even though technically Washington State beat Oregon State, but still, mm-hmm. technically Oregon State's the better team. Probably plays a little bit of a role. I mean, extra mm-hmm. day does make a difference because you know Oregon, after they beat Oregon State, was already studying up on Washington, even though they've already played each other, so they should know each other pretty well. But, yeah, I think it helps a little bit. I don't know how substantial of a difference it actually makes, but I think it does help a little bit. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about the Pac-12 championship game matchup between Oregon and Washington, whether you believe that Oregon can get revenge on Washington or whether the Huskies will stay undefeated and knock off the Ducks in the Pac-12 championship game and make the college football playoff. And what you think about me and Will and D's pick for this massive conference championship matchup in the Pac-12. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I'll see you next time.